Greetings to all of you, my dear sisters and brothers and my dear friends. And all of you are welcome to this new broadcasting of the Exalted Christ, a Lenten devotional. And we are still in Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing. Um, our scriptures reading for today is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. This is your pastor. Yeti. Be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also has forgiven you. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32. One of the easiest ways to spot a Christian is to watch them forgive others for offenses. One of the easiest ways to spot a non-believer is in the way they refuse to forgive others. The ability to forgive is certainly not the deciding factor of being a Christian. That qualifier belongs to a personal relationship with Jesus Christ based on faith. That being said, one of the obvious evidences of a believer's heart is the ability to forgive. For those without such a relationship, forgiveness is often a foreign concept they choose not to explore. A necessary component of any stable community is trust. The easiest way to build trust is on a basis of mutual forgiveness. The earliest way to destroy trust is on a basis of non-forgiveness. And the easiest way to destroy trust is on a basis of non-forgiveness. The Christian church is built around community, and Jesus told us that we should not neglect meeting together for worship. Believers who bind together in community are stronger than those who are trying to go through life on their own. We were meant to be helpful to each other. The more people we have looking after our best interests, the better. When we are kind and tender hearted to others, it generates the same sentiment from them to us. It is God's way. His way is always the best. The important thing is, my beautiful people, that in Christ He had offered us a new life. He died for us. He gave himself completely so that we could start when we commit ourselves in him that the new can come alive in us. And our soul, God, is working in us and through us that our soul will become renewed from day to day. So forgiveness is a such important thing to do to live and let us examine our hearts if our heart is truly and upright because it's always start with ourselves are we having a heart of forgiveness are we even if we have a bad experience are we able to open ourselves to receive the forgiveness that God in Christ forgave us all our sins and walks with us from day to day. So let's think about that. Blessings to all of you, my dear people. God is loving you in the most intimate way. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yeti. Bye.